Hi guys, welcome to BISPSolution.com. This is Ashima. In today's session, I'm going to show you how to import hierarchies into DRM through flat file. So suppose my company has just acquired another company that provides BI solution. Now to incorporate the dimensions from this new company into my application, we have data in the form of a comma delimited file. So import used to load the data to DRM. Through import, we need to create new version. And with the help of DRM, we can import data from flat file or from database tables. Let's see how to do this. So here I have opened DRM pipe client. And for import the data, we need to click on import. And here, if you want to create new import, then just click on this new import icon. Here I have defined my import already. So I'll just open this. And I'll show you how to set up all these settings. So you, here we need to set up all these five tabs. So first we have source tab. In source tab, we have device dropdown. So we have these three options in device dropdown. So we choose client file when our source file save under the local desktop. And we choose server file when our file is on the particular location on the server. And we choose database when our data is saved under the database tables. Then we have file location. So here we can choose our source file from click on browse and then we have import section. We can import data with five section, but not all are required. So these are the five sections, version, hierarchy, nodes, relationship, and hierarchy nodes. So here we are going to use only hierarchy nodes and relationship section. This is my source file. So here you can see we have only these three sections, hierarchy, relation, and last is node. Then we set prefix delimiter and suffix delimiter. So you can see these are the prefix and suffix delimiter for import sections. Then I'll just choose file for I'll I'll leave this default file format and I'll just select comma as my delimiter because my source file contains comma delimiter. Next we go to style section. So in style section, we have used this section um, because this will help you to perform different manipulative options in the nodes. So here I just enable this node option, which is determine leave node at the end of import process. Rest, I leave everything defo default except enabling this because it determines leave node at the end of the import process. These are the options for shared nodes. And I'll leave all these options as default. Then we go to column section. Now I'll add the columns which we have in the import file and confirm that they are in the correct order. So first we have section which is hierarchy. I'll just open this hierarchy and you can see in my hierarchy, we have hierarchy name. So these are the hierarchy name. Then these are the description for the hierarchy. And last one is my top note. So these are, these are, these are the incorrect order. You can use these, um, these icons for these buttons for defining the order, correct order. Okay. So next we have node section in our file. So next we have relation section in me in my source file. You can see this. This one is the relation. So in relation, we have these three things in our uh, file. So first is the name. Then we have parent node and then we have description. So next we choose notes in notes. You can see we have only name of the node. Then we have description of the nodes. So likewise, we perform settings of the columns from the this category. So 
these are the system options then we have filter so i'll let i'll leave this as default you can provide filter set filter for the properties then we have targets so here we provide name of the version so i'll choose another name new dimensions okay or i'll provide any other name like sample data okay so this is the new version name and here we set max error option and then i'll click on save version to repository now, then we have blender option so you can perform blender uh, after import uh, 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 we use blender to combine imported data with other source data so we are right now we are not enabling this option then we go to source and i'll just save the import because it saved already so after saving the import we'll select source tab and then click on browse to select our source file i'll just choose my file and then we click on run our import gets started so here you can see import result here it we uh, we configured if we configured anything wrong or incorrectly then drm will let you know this in error message so here you can see we don't have any error message and we don't have any warnings so if we have error or warning message then it will see here so right now we don't have any data to display so you can also download the errors by this download button let's see our version which we have created right now so just go to browse section here you can see our sample data gets created successfully we have these three hierarchies and these are the description for this hierarchy country currency and products so i'll just open country because we have notes in this hierarchy here you can see likewise we import the data from flat file so hope you get understand how to import the data from flat file so thanks for watching if you have any query or comment please comment below and visit our website to engage an expert at the www.bisbsolution.com